Good afternoon. Welcome to the afternoon <coughs> session. Um, this session is um, cover the issue of on measurement, accountability through sustainable development measurement. Uh, we have three presentation and um, a three guru will present it to the forum. Um, may I introduce the first speaker, Mr. Gunther Wagman. He had the executive office of the German Council for Sustainable Development, involved in many issues on sustainable development. He also shared a working group for sustainable development in the European Environmental and Sustainable Development Advisory Council Network, uh, EEAC. He was a director and professor with Germany's Federal Environmental Agency. Um, he got, he read um, a book at Berlin Technical University, a fellowship with German Marshall Fund, postdoctoral studies and expertise assignment by Deutsch Gisen Sharp for Technics. Um, I'm sorry, it's uh, very difficult for me, and uh, but it's all about environment and sustainable related research around the world. Um, right, have been right, written, uh, have been have written so many books, reports, and articles. So let us welcome Gunther Bergman. You have a, a floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to talk about measurement after the lunch break. And you get, you get your presentation measured by you. Uh, um, well, the, the question that I have been asked was, um, are visions measurable? Well, and I thank you for this question. I thank you for the invitation to come here. Um, <coughs> I try to, to answer this question by, of course, yes, they are. As there are no dreams, visions are no dreams. You can't measure dreams. You can't measure the imaginary, imaginary stuff. But visions, yes. Um, I have to say, I'm now 55. I'm, so to say, in German terms, um, second generation of environmental professionals. The first generation is 10 years older than, than I am, or 10 to 15 years older. And we uh, never started with the illusionary stuff. We started hands down. And that, that's why I think it's, it's right that you <coughs> quoted this sentence this morning, what gets measured gets done. But we all, all know that there is the downside of the sentence as well. Think about what we are measuring. Lots of data. We are great in measuring poverty, for instance, but it doesn't get done. We are great in measuring carbon, but there is no progress here on the world scale. So, um, a, a little bit uh, self-reflective on the word, on this term, what gets measured, gets done. I was say measurement is important, but on the other hand side, there is no one way to something um, being done. Um, and the other point that I would like to raise with this uh, picture is that we have to rethink the concept of measurement, reporting, and verification. MRV was one of the big features in the Copenhagen negotiations. And I would like only make the point that we all started <coughs> the measurement thing with average numbers. So average as CO2 uh, in, in tons or GHG in tons per uh, per capita. And I think looking forward into the future we have to go to a more differentiated view on the, the carbon load of the people. 
and to make some differentiations. So these kinds of average numbers is maybe not what we will measure in the, in the, in the future. Two degrees Celsius as a ceiling for CO2 or for the, the uh, climate um, forcing is something that is really different if you look at different points in the world. Average two degrees might mean six degrees plus, might mean eight degrees plus in some areas, some regions. So rethinking measurement reporting and verification is necessary to make visions um, something practical, something hands down and something that you can uh, at the end of the day manage. And of course we do need visions. By the year 2050 population will increase to um, maybe even nine uh, billion of, of people. And um, we also know that by this year we have to come up with some bright ideas to reduce the consumption and the production to what the planet can afford. So there are planetary limits. Um, and there are of course things to do to uh, get more and more people beyond the limits um, of poverty. So this is really <coughs> a great task uh, that is marked by the year 2050 and you need to have some visions here. Uh, this uh, picture above shows you the agenda of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development who came up with the paper Vision 2050. And there's no big prediction in to say that in the years to come literature around visionary uh, imagination towards the year 2050 will crop up. 2012 is another day that is important for visions because this is the um, already quoted UNCSD conference in Brazil. Uh, by the way, <coughs> I'm not referring to it as Rio plus 20. I'm always saying Rio 20 plus in order to underline that there's something to look forward. We all, I mean, we are great in hailing the ashes, but we should ignite the fire instead of simply and only hailing the ashes. That is why I refer to it Rio plus 20. And, you know, the green economy is uh, on the agenda and the institutional settings are on the agenda. And, of course, um, we might think about what went wrong after the Rio 1992 conference um, that brings us into the situation that we are now thinking about an in institutional reform. Green economy in the context of sustainable development and poverty eradication. That is the language, the agreed lang UN language. And uh, my point is that I suggest we stay with the agreed language um, and we are not, or at least I am, um, I, I do not like the language of the OECD at that point. The OECD is referring um, to, to the green economy as green growth, meaning growth, um, be it green or whatever color it has. Here, the UN has uh, the language green economy in the context of sustainable development and poverty eradication. Um, <clears throat> this gives the green economy a purpose. It's not only economy or growth as such, it's growth with a purpose. It's economy with a purpose. The purpose being renewable energy, energy efficiency, an economy in line with the need to, um, for nature conservation, and in line with uh, the need to um, eradicate poverty. The National Council, National Sustainable Development Strategies play uh, an important role, but because we all know after Copenhagen um, there is a 
kind of a shift